Today I'm going to show you how you can create a nice buy me a coffee call to action that you can place inside your blog posts as a way for people to tip you. In order to do so, you'll need Thrive Team Builder to create your post template and you'll also need Thrive Architect to actually create your blog post. Now, you're also going to need a checkout tool. I'm going to be using Thrivecart, but you shouldn't have any issues trying to replicate what I'm about to do if you're using a different checkout tool. So don't let that stop you from following along. Um, all right, let's jump into it. Hi everyone, I'm Tony Lewis. And before we get started, I would be super grateful if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. Like I said in previous videos, we are really trying to get 100,000 subscribers this year. So let's just try to make it happen. Now, I'm one of those people that is always trying to grab a few minutes in the weekend to write. And I'll write about anything, mostly finance and economics because I'm that weird. Although every now and then I like to share my thoughts about a movie or a book that I've come across. And I write just for the sake of getting better at it. And this is something that I really do encourage everyone who is watching this video to try, try doing. Just set up a simple blog under your name and start writing about things that interest you. Writing is super helpful. And you may be surprised that as you build up an audience of people who appreciate you putting some time into writing, you may start to see them giving you some money for doing so as well. How? Well, that's the purpose of this video. Let's give your audience a way for them to appreciate the time and effort that you're putting into writing. All right, so like I said earlier, you wanna make sure that you've installed Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder on your website, and you wanna make sure that you have Thrivecart opened up on a second tab. All right, I'm inside Thrivecart myself, and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new product. It's gonna be a digital product, and we can just call this Buy Me A Coffee. Let's fill out some of these other details. All right, and once we filled out some of these other details, we are now going to navigate over into the most important step of the entire process, which is the pricing options for our new Thrivecart product. Here, we're going to set the product price and it's not gonna be a one-time fee, which is the default pricing, um, the, the default payment type inside Thrivecart. Instead, we're going to do a pay your own price payment type option. And let's go ahead and give it a, a minimum price of $3. I mean, I don't, I don't think you can buy a coffee for less than $3 anywhere today. So let's just go ahead and set that as our minimum price. And here Thrivecart allows us to do something really cool, which is that we can configure your thank you messages um, for different pricing tiers, which means that if people pay $3 or more, you're going to say thank you so much, or let's actually do Starbucks is on you. Actually, Starbucks is probably more than $3. All right, let's just do thank you for $3. Thank you so much. Let's add another one for $5. Starbucks is on you. Let's do one for $10. I can get Baba tea on you. And let's do one crazy one for $100, which is, do you want me to take you out to dinner? Let's do an emoji here with some eyes. That may actually be a little bit of a creepy message, but anyways, uh, let's try to keep it fun. We are not going to set a limit quantity available here. Let's just do no. We want people to be able to tip us as often as they want. Let's hit next. All right, I'm not gonna go deep into the intricacies of sales tax or anything like that. Um, you could customize your customer's payment notification like the invoice that shows up. I'm gonna go ahead and write um, and jump right into fulfillment. Here is where we get to tell Thrivecart what happens when someone actually completes the purchase. In this case, we do need to type out a support URL email and we do need to tell Thrivecart, all right, what happens when someone actually tips us? Well, since we're not really delivering anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and display their total invoice. You could send them to a different URL if you wanna have it like a, you know, like a custom thank you page for having tipped you or something. Uh, for the sake of keeping it simple, I'm just gonna show them an invoice. All right, and the next step is actually rather important. We wanna make sure that we select embeddable as our card type. We don't wanna send them to a, uh, to like an external checkout page. We wanna keep it everything on our website to make the experience super smooth. And now it's just a question of customizing the design. Okay, so this is the default design that Thrivecart gives us. Again, if they're gonna, if people are gonna tip us, if they're reading a blog post or you know, if they finished reading one of our blog posts, we wanna try to make the tipping experience as smooth as we possibly can. So I'm gonna get, go ahead and get rid of the multi-step cart flow and just make it a single step. Um, unfortunately, Thrivecart forces us to actually 
um, ask for people's email address, which means that we have to get people's email address if they wanna tip us. There, you know, that does add a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of friction um, that may push people away from actually tipping us, but there's not really much we can do. And to be honest, if people are going to go through the hassle of giving us, I don't know, $3 because they enjoyed um, the blog post, getting their email address from them shouldn't really be too much of a pain. Instead of just saying contact information, I'm just gonna ask them for your email address. So I can say thank you. Let's insert a nice little emoji. Here we're going to do choose your price with a minimum of $3, your payment information. And I probably don't want the image here. I wanna make it nice and subtle. And of course you would change the color of your button to make sure that it, um, that it matches your brand um, and your website's aesthetics. Cool, so let's actually hit next. Perfect, this is what happens once someone actually completes the purchase, they get displayed their invoice. I am happy with this. Under behavioral rules inside ThriveCard, you wanna make sure that you add any new rules so that when people purchase the main product, you add them inside Active Campaign or Drip or ConvertKit or whatever email marketing service you're using so that you put them inside an automation or a workflow that um, sends them an email, like a thank you email, like, hey, thank you for you know actually tipping me. And you can also put them inside your newsletter list or you know whatever it is that you wanna do with them. Great, so now we are in the last step of this process inside ThriveCart. Now we just need to grab our HTML code um, and what we're gonna do now is we're going to create a new Thrive Lightbox and in a second, you're going to understand why. All right, so I'm in the back end of my website and as you can see, once you install Thrive Architect, you also get this nice little feature called Thrive Lightboxes, which essentially consists of a pop-up, right? So you can assign a button on your website or a text element on your website um, to display a Thrive Lightbox in the form of a pop-up. So we're gonna create a new Thrive Lightbox. I'm gonna call it Tip and I'm going to launch Thrive Architect. And inside our Lightbox, it's just a matter of adding in a new HTML widget. And here we're going to paste in the HTML code that we just uh, grabbed from ThriveCart. If I hit save and preview the Lightbox, here you can see how my checkout form is embedded beautifully in inside the Lightbox. And check out what happens. If someone types in a three, they get the thank you so much message. If they type in uh, five, actually no, it's I think it was over five, they do Starbucks is on you. Um, if you do 10, you get a, I can get Boba tea on you. And if you do a hundred, you get a nice, do you want me to take you out to dinner message? So that's pretty nice. Great, now as you can see, I'm in the back end of my Thrive Theme Builder dashboard. I have Shapeshift enabled, which is the very first companion theme that came out for Thrive Theme Builder. And if I navigate over to my templates, um, I want to locate my default post template. Technically speaking, what we're about to do you can do pretty much on any other post template, whether it's the audio post or the video post. I'm going to go ahead and do it in my default post. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up with Thrive. All right, so right now I have a default template for this particular uh, post template enabled. This is one of the templates that comes with Shapeshift, as I said earlier, where you get the featured image for the post followed by the publication date. Um, the title for the actual post, the category, the number of comments, and then whatever post you actually build out using Thrive Architect. Now, um, this is pretty much empty right now. So we'll take about, you know, we'll take care of actually building out the post later. But for now, we simply want to find a cool place for our main buy me a coffee call to action. I'm thinking that if I were to just randomly throw a button at the top of my post here saying, give me a tip or something, that would be a little bit too much. I wanna make it nice and subtle. So what I'm thinking we could do is we could have a content box at the very top. Let's vertically align everything inside the content box. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and insert some text. And let's just type out, enjoy what I do, consider buying me a coffee. And let's throw in another coffee emoji here. Emojis are great. They look super cute and people seem to love them. I'm gonna make the text a little bit smaller so that it's not so much in people's faces. And I'm going to underline consider buying me a coffee so that it's crystal clear that this is a call to action. We could leave this as it is and I wouldn't be too upset about the way it looks, but I'm thinking that I wanna keep it outside of people's eyesight as much as I possibly can. So I'm gonna actually uh, um, right align it. Let's get rid of some of these paddings that we have here inside our content box. And I think this is a nice subtle way of throwing in a call to action for people to 
tip you and to buy you a coffee. Now we have to make sure that we assign this call to action some behavioral settings. Now, the proper way of using text to call a Thrive Lightbox is to simply navigate over to the link here and um, type out the name of the Lightbox that you created. So in this case, I think I named it Tip. And as you can see, Thrive is able to pull in the Lightbox that we created previously. We don't need to open it up in a new tab and let's just go ahead and do Insert. So that would take care of the call to action and allowing people to tip you. But we still need to create a blog post. So let's actually open this one up with Thrive Architect and throw in some lorem epsom text. Cool, I'm gonna throw in a background section, a content box, and let's just start typing some text. Let's do some columns. Some more text in each column. And as you would build out your blog post, you would keep on inserting images and so forth and so on. Cool, I think we're now ready to see what this whole thing looks like. Awesome, so here is my blog post and I have a really nice and subtle call to action here that says, hey, do you enjoy what I do? Consider buying me a coffee. And if I click on it, I get my checkout form immediately showing up on my page and I can pick out my price, let's do $20. Hey, I can get boba tea on you. You should probably change the message if you, for $20, you can probably get multiple bubble teas. But anyways, um, yeah, this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Awesome, well, hopefully you liked this video and found it useful. I'm open to some more suggestions, some things that you'd like some help with. You can use the comment section below to send those over to me. Down in the description box, you will also find a link to learn more about Thrive Suite and all of our conversion-focused tools to running a profitable online business. It's been a real pleasure and Keep on writing.